I was inspired by a visit that my wife and I had taken to Europe and we had gone to Nice and there's a cemetery above the city that is just full of the most beautifully carved marble angels. And when we saw that, we came back to Abilene after that trip and we talked to the administration and we changed completely what we had planned on doing. It took about five years to design it, in fact, really longer than five years, but it was finished, it was completed in the fall of 2006. They're not traditional angels, they're really more like angels that you might be familiar with in the Bible. Um, usually they're portrayed as men. And so my concept was that as the angels neared the earth, they would get older and as they got closer to heaven, they would get younger and stronger and more muscular. The floor plan is uh, the Trinity. There's three intersecting circles and one incorporates the baptistry with the water and one has plants, which is kind of a garden area. And then the other had to do with kind of more the heavens. And so the ones around the water, they were scriptures that I thought, well, many of them pertain to Jesus, but I, I thought they just were symbolically and metaphorically really beautiful and fitting for that spot. Everything sandblasted into the stone, designed the words on a computer, cut, the, cut them out, leaves little openings where the letters were. We glue that down with the big compressor and the sand, and we just blast around that rubber and it blasts through and then when it looks deep enough, we peel it off. It's been 10 years and in, in, um, to celebrate that, we've cast small, I think they're, I think they're 30 inch tall miniatures of the Jacob's Dream Angels and the primary pedestal. And yeah, those are gonna be available for sale. I think they're available now through the bookstore. There were no other rough stones around the campus at that point. We didn't have the Lunsford Trail with the scripture and the stone. So I thought, what an anomaly. It's gonna be completely out of place. It's just not gonna work. And I've just been thrilled and relieved and, and just elated by what people have told me in, in terms of it moving them or it being a favorite place and that kind of thing.